Good evening, Dr. Mudd family and friends. I'm Mrs. Yates. I'm one of the kindergarten teachers here at Dr. Mudd. I am so excited to be bringing you your STEM, your science, technology, engineering, and math activity for early childhood. And this one happens to be about snow. We've seen a lot of that recently, haven't we? So the, I have a book and then I will share the activity with you. And our book is called No to a Like. No to a Like. And a like means the same. So no two are the same. And I wonder what they're talking about. The author is Keith Baker. See that winter picture? So let's read our story, No Two Alike. Look at that beautiful winter scene on there. No two snowflakes are alike. Almost. Almost. But not quite. No two nests so soft and round. Do you guys see the bird's nest? Look at that. There's a bird's nest and a squirrel's nest. No two tracks upon the ground. So no two tracks are alike. Can you guys see those tracks? Let's see really closely. Can you see them? There's one set of tracks and then another set of tracks. No two branches, no two leaves. No two forests full of trees. Look at that beautiful winter scene. Look how the trees have snow on them, but they're different kinds of trees. Some of the trees have branches and leaves. Some of them are bare. No two fences, long and low. So look at those fences. Did you have fences with snow on them? You see how the snow falls differently on those two fences? No two roads. Where did they go? I know I saw some roads that looked like that over our winter weather, some of them. These two roads are, they both are roads, but one's going in the, towards the country and one looks like a No two houses. Anyone home? Look at those two bird houses. No two friends, large or small. No two alike. Can you see the different kinds of birds? Have you guys seen any of those birds in your yard? Little red birds, a little barn swallow, looks like a, a blackbird up here. They're almost alike, but not quite. Oh, did you guys see the little blue bird? They're one of my favorites. It says, no two friends, large or small, no two alike among you all. So there's no two that are just exactly the same. See the deer? Look at that in there. Oh, look, there's bears up there. So even though they might be similar, they're not the same. Are we the same? Just alike? Almost, almost. But not quite. Look, 
There's a red feather. It looks solid red, doesn't it, on the computer? And then there's another feather, and this one is almost the same, but look at that. It's got a black tip at the top. The end. What a kind of fun story, huh? Talking about how things can be almost the same and look almost alike, but not quite. Not exactly identical, and that's what they were saying about snowflakes. There's no two snowflakes that are exactly the same. They are all different. Out of billions and billions of snowflakes, not one of those snowflakes is going to have an identical mass. And that's what so neat about making snowflakes. Have you guys ever made snowflakes before? Well, tonight, that is what we're going to do for our STEM activity. You guys have gotten a great little bag. Now, I know how badly you want to eat these marshmallows. Don't eat them just yet. They are for our activity first. So you have a bag of marshmallows, and you have some toothpicks. Now these toothpicks are very pointy at the end, so you might want your adult with you to help you when you're going to do this. So I'm going to share my screen. And our activity tonight is to try to build some snowflakes. And what are you going to use to build your snowflakes? You are going to use your marshmallows or toothpicks. So I've never done this before. You want to make sure you want to wash your hands, okay, in case you decide that you want to eat those marshmallows after the activity. You want to make your hands are very clean. So take a minute, make sure you wash your hands. And then you might want to have a plate or a napkin or something. I'm not going to be eating my marshmallows, so I'm going to put them out underneath the camera so that you can see them. But you want to get a plate or a napkin in case you want to eat those marshmallows when you're done. And while you're getting those things set up, you can pause. Now, I'm very carefully, we're going to empty out our content. And you don't want to open them too fast because marshmallows are cylinders and they will go rolling around. And I'm going to make a pile of my toothpicks and my marshmallows. Look at that one was already. Now, I want to see if you guys can make at least two snowflakes. And what are some things that you think about when you think about a snowflake? Let's look at our book really quick. I'm going to put it up under here. I'm going to cover it up. Snowflakes look like they have some side to them, so they might have some points. So maybe you want to build your marshmallow so that you can see the different points. Maybe make them look like crisscross. Maybe you want to build like a snowflake within a snowflake, but I want you to think about the design that you want to try to make with your first snowflake. I think I'm just going to go with something a little easy. So the first thing you want to do is we want to make sure that we're using our toothpicks carefully. We're not going to be poking ourselves or anybody else with these toothpicks. And you're going to think about how would you build that? What does that look like? So I'm going to take a marshmallow and I'm going to put it onto one end. I want to try to build a big marshmallow, so I'm going to try to find, I'm going to try to use this one for my center. What do you guys think? And then I'm going to build from there. What do you guys think? I don't know how big I'm going to be able to go, but I'm sure going to try, right? Marshmallows, that's the good thing about marshmallows, they're kind of sticky. So, so far, am I doing a good job? Can you guys, how do you think you want to build your marshmallow? How many points do you think you want to put on? I think that's going to be it for me. So do you think that I was able to kind of build a snowflake? A little bit, huh? So I did one. Let's try another one. This one I want to do, maybe I want to make it more of a circle. What do you guys think? Do you think you could do that? You guys can certainly build yours however you want to build them. You can build it as many as you want. Moving them around. You can build and unbuild, so if it falls apart, don't worry. Keep building. Keep trying. Let's see how many snowflakes you can build with the supplies that you have in your bag. Let's 
them together a little bit more like that. Mine is kind of a circle, huh? So that second one more looks like a circle. How can I make it look like a snowflake? Maybe I should put them on top of each other, right? Oh, there we go. Then I've made like a double snowflake, like that one picture. I smush them together and put them down like that. Or inside, is it going to stay together? I sure hope so. So while you're building, I want you to think about your shape. Think about how a snowflake is going to have some points. How can you make it stay together? How many snowflakes can you build within a snowflake? Like with the toothpicks that you have, what could you build? How big could you could you build a big snowflake and make a great big one, maybe with extra points so you could add on to maybe like the crisscross snowflake that we made and we could just keep adding on to that one, right? So we could do that, make them into points. And remember, it's okay if they fall apart. And it's okay if it doesn't look exactly how you were trying to make them look because no two snowflakes are going to be alike. But they're still very special, aren't they? So have a great time with your families this evening, working with and building with your marshmallows and your toothpicks. Remember to take pictures of your amazing snowflakes and send them in so that we can see all your great creations. Have a great evening, everybody.